Hello, in this video I'll be talking about the hippocampus, specifically the function of the hippocampus that we were able to learn from patient HM's sacrifice. Before I go on, let me first give you some general information on the hippocampus. So the hippocampus is a part of the limbic system of the brain that is associated with memories, emotions and motivation. The limbic system includes but is not limited to the hippocampus, the cingulate cortex, the amygdala, the interhenal cortex and the olfactory cortex. And the limbic system is located right above the brainstem and below the cerebral cortex, lining the edge of the cerebral cortex. Of course, the hippocampus of the limbic system is highly involved with the production of new memories. And a good example that shows the involvement of the hippocampus with our memories concerns the peculiar case of a man named Henry Molaison also known as patient HM. Patient HM suffered from chronic epilepsy which is thought to have been caused by a head injury sustained from a bike accident at the age of 7. During childhood, a brain's uh, neurons are extremely excitable to aid in rapid learning and brain development, but, ex but in exchange, the developing brain is extremely vulnerable to injuries such that a brain injury at a young age can result in permanent damage and complications, like epilepsy. So in order to attempt to cure his epilepsy, the doctors have chosen to have a patient HM undergo bilateral medial temporal lobectomy, which means to cut out the middle part of the temporal lobes from both hemispheres of the brain, which includes cutting out most of Henry Molaison's anterior hippocampi. Note that this procedure resulted in the remaining hippocampal tissue becoming entirely useless and atrophied because the entire interhenal cortex was destroyed during the operation. The interhenal cortex is a brain structure that delivers the major amount of sensory input to the hippocampus, and when a part of the brain lacks stimulation, it atrophies. And so uh, stimulation develops the brain and the opposite is also true. After the surgery, Henry Molaison developed severe anterior grad amnesia, which means that he could no longer form new explicit memories. Explicit memories include personal experiences and factual information, but he could still learn or get better at certain visual motor skills like drawing. And so what does it mean that patient HM couldn't form new memories? Well, essentially, patient HM was stuck in the past because he wasn't able to remember information long term, so that every day that passed was perceived by him to be the same day according to his brain. To conclude, patient HM has taught us that the hippocampus and other associated structures of the temporal lobes are required for the formation of new long term explicit memories including episodic memories of personal experiences and semantic memories pertaining to factual information and language, and that we need the hippocampus in order to truly experience the passage of time.